Hi, folks. John Hecker here again, the pro at Brooklyn Country Club in Rochester, New York. I got a chance to watch Brooks Kepka hit some short game shots for about 40 minutes um, on the new pitching area there at PGA National during the Honda Classic. And I thought I'd take you through some of these. He, he hit a, a bunch of different type of shots. And on the on the right, obviously, he's hitting a nice short chip, and it was kind of fun to watch him. He's He's really good at it. People think he's just a power player. Let me tell you, this guy's got a phenomenal touch around the greens. And you can see in this case, on this type of shot, um, yeah, obviously I couldn't quite get the angles I wanted to, but he was gripping down on the club some, keeping the sort of the handle below his belt, back and through about the same distance. Kind of fun to copy. The ball's coming off low, but was coming off with some spin. Uh, he's hitting it off fairly tight lies here. Um, they're trying to duplicate what's on the course, and he picks it off easily. Uh, without any problems. Now on the on the left, he's trying to hit a high shot. So it's funny right away his stance gets wider. Um, he was basically goofing around after a while. You you think he was uh, what he was trying to do here, but I think he was testing the wedges out. So you'll see a much bigger swing. He still had grip down on it, which again I had kind of found interesting. Standing fairly close to the ball, and as he came through, he's he's clearly trying to slice under it. You can kind of get that idea. The ball pops up in the air quickly. And as we'll talk with some of his, his wedge shots, we have what we call a, a position is called holding the umbrella. It's like you would when you're holding your umbrella. It's what you're trying to do when you're trying to hit bunker shots and high soft shots. So this is kind of a neat position, to, uh, assuming the club's like the umbrella, how your wrist rehinge close to your body and flip it up. There'd be some, kind of something cool to, to copy uh, if you're out there. So I've got him hitting some some bunker shots. And on this one, he's He's hitting down the line, and I and I was able to get him face on, so you can kind of see the difference. So people want to know how big Brooks Kep is. I'd say he's six foot, one hundred ninety pounds. He's he's not as big as you might think, but for a golfer, he's fairly big. I think why they think that is he hits it so far. And so just to kind of reiterate some of the things we've talked about in the past, you're certainly going to use more flex in your legs than you do for any other shot. And on these these particular shots, you'll see that you'll he'll be using more of his. Um, let's say his arms than his body so the club kind of swings up and pops through there you'll kind of see that again they're holding the umbrella finish I'm not sure we'll be able to catch it here they're pretty good there you can see the club face is open so he's kind of just splashing it out of the bunker so it's more of an arm swing although his body does react through the shot and like I say he's really good at this stuff it was really shocking how how good he was at it um, he kept talking about he's trying to avoid dragging the club. So dragging the club is when you're the leading edge hits in. So he's really trying to use the bounce by, uh, it looks like flicking his wrist, releasing the club early. And again, trying to get to that hold the umbrella finish where you're you're not really using your, your um, the handle's not moving as far forward. So face on, again, he could hit all the shots. And I think he would say that at this point his hands are probably too far ahead of the shaft. He's probably trying to get that club to kind of re-hinge at this point so that the the um, the bounce of the club slides under the ball. But I you couldn't tell from his shots. He was great at it. Um, so kind of a cool swing here, cool, cool stuff he's working on here. I did want to say something about him. Uh, I know people are not really sure what to make of him, but let me tell you, there's a father came up and said something while he was practicing and he was working on his game, and he didn't say he didn't really acknowledge him. But when he was done, he went over, and uh, you know there was a series of kids around there. He talked to the kids and the parents and signed autographs for 20 minutes. And you know I may actually be getting him in trouble. I'm not sure that he's allowed to do that. But I mean it was really cool. You could see he 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 was aware that people were there, but he was also doing his job. He was getting ready to play. Um, but he went over and talked to those people, talked to the kids, uh, made them feel good. And, you know, like I say, if, if people uh, think that they don't know him, I would say, geez, that, to me that was a real feather in his cap. And, and you could see he was good at it, made, uh, engaged, engaged the people and, and um, you know, showed that he, was, he wanted to talk to them and, and maybe get to know him a little bit better. So, anyway, uh, Brooks Kepa, very talented short game player. If you get a chance to watch these guys around the short game area at any of these tournaments, you can really learn a lot in the sense that this is where they save their shots. Uh, this is what maybe when they don't hit it as well as they'd like, that they can still come away with pars um, and shoot good scores. So anyway, a couple, uh, four shots there from Brooks Kepka. Hopefully you get something out of it, and we hope to see you out in the course soon.